Hey guys, and welcome back to Royal Cast After Dark. This case is a case that's not, it's really ongoing right now because it recently just happened. Um, we're gonna talk deeply in this case because it's a case that it happens a lot, but us people don't know about it because sometimes it's thrown under the rug or just situations happen. But if you are very, you know, triggered by gruesome scenes, um, blood, anything with sexual assault, please do not listen to this podcast episode. So I just advise you. If you want to, you can, but I advise you if you're triggered by it or if anything happened to you, please do not want li- listen to this episode at all. And if you have been through this or been through a situation similar to this, please look out for help. They are people that will are willing to help you out, okay? So let's get it started. Okay, so this case, um, if you guys haven't known, I am from Dominican Republic. And I wanted to do cases for my own country because I haven't seen a lot of, like, cases well-known here from Dominican Republic. It's mostly only Dominicans that know this, um, these type of cases. So I recently was on TikTok and I saw this name, Esmeralda Ritchie. Um... I kept seeing it popped in my notifications and also a lot of, you know, Dominican news and stuff like that. And I went deep into the rabbit hole of this case. And this case was recently, like when I say recently, it started around February around there. So and it's still ongoing. So Esmeralda was a beautiful girl. She was 16 years old in school. She was... Very bright, very, very nice girl, according to the family members and everyone who knows her. So, it's kind of weird and random. Like, in Dominican Republic, it's kind of different. Like, sometimes we become friends with our teachers. But it's kind of weird when a teacher invited a student out. So, basically, from what I read so far... She invi- she was invited by her teacher to go out to the beach, and two of her friends came along with her. Two of her friends decided to do something else, which left her alone with the professor. So, since they were left alone, but one friend noticed that the teacher was pouring weird pills in her drink, but didn't say anything at all. So, on the way, she started bleeding, and... They stopped for snacks. She was still complaining about the bleeding or the pain. They went to the bathroom. They stopped to another, like a pharmacy type of thing, and got pads and pills to help her with the pain. Obviously, if you're bleeding, sometimes you think, you know, you're probably on your menstrual cycle period, whatever you want to call it. So that's why they try to help her with the pads and the pills. So, after that, she went home, apparently, I think it was her house, she went home, I know her, f- she was calling one of her friends, which they actually released a what's up, um, if you don't know what what's up is, is basically a international app where you can contact people from another country, basically, mostly that I know, Hispanics use what's up to literally speak to people in Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, stuff like that. So, her friend was using WhatsApp, and uh, it was released that there was voice 
voice notes basically and she was in distress she was in so much pain she was asking for help and from the messages her friend was literally like okay it's okay we're gonna try to get this, through this and all this then third so after that that was literally her last message just asking for help but later on her parents will to find her in the bathroom full of blood also her bed was confirmed to be full of blood also and some people kept saying it's probably her period but what her mom stated i get my period and i know how it is but this was something else so they claimed it was an abortion um a lot of people said that the professor either sexually assaulted her multiple times that she became pregnant and he wanted to give her an abortion which hence why one of the friends was literally like the friends was literally looking at him pouring pills inside the drink of the girl which um if a friend didn't speak out on that situation and let you know that's not a friend i'm sorry to tell you because a friend would be like er excuse me don't drink that but she drank it and it caused this so it comes out it's with something more violent the t um basically he gave her pills and caused her to have hemorrhage and bl and blood to death it's still ongoing because they're still doing more autopsy to find out what it, if it was really a sexual assault or something else but from according to what they're just doing now, she did have a hemorrhage that made her bleed, hence why she was in so much pain and was bleeding nonstop. The pads did not help her, hence why, I don't know why would you bought a pad, but a lot of people kept questioning is like, did he sexually assault her? If they knew that she was bleeding, why wouldn't they take her to like a hospital? Instead of, you know, taking her home and letting her die in her own house. Which is, like, very, I don't know, it's very fucking crazy. Now, the professor, it it is, I heard that he was getting questioned. Which is good, because this is a 16-year-old. A very 16-year-old. I kind of know, like, uh, some Dominican stereotypes would be, like, some women in Dominican acts more than their age. Yeah, I get that. I understand that. But you should... This is a 16-year-old. 16 16-year-olds 16 are going to make mistakes regardless whatever anyone wants to say. Because everyone was a 16-year-old. We need to understand, yeah, we... Or we can try to help them, you know? Because we made mistakes when we were 16 years old. We made stupid, dumb decisions also. So, because I know I heard a lot of people are blaming the 16-year-old. Oh, it was her fault that she got pregnant. And it's my thing. is like, why would someone blame a victim? Especially a young victim that really doesn't understand that much. But some of them do. Instead of the adult. Um, a lot of people are cursing out the adult, um, the professor, and he was also being recorded on, like, a little area. Like, he was, I don't know, he seemed a little bit more distressed of what was going on. Um, I think he did get expelled from the school. I'm not too sure, because, I, like I said, the case is still ongoing, because it's fresh, a lot of her neighbors said she was a bright child. She was very nice, very respectful for this to happen to her. Um, a lot of people don't, don't want this case to be out and about. I don't know why. Probably because of politics. And if I'm going to be honest with you, Dominican politics are the most horrible politics ever. Like, mostly half of the politics in the around the world are horrible. But... Dominican politics like to control a lot of things, so they probably don't want this case to be a bot. But um, social media, 
social media is a bitch and we're gonna you know get her name to have some justice because she was 16 year old if she was pregnant there would be measures to this and he knew he would be convicted hopefully he does get convicted because he had a relationship with this 16 year old and adults know better and i know like 16 years old six between like the teen teen years basically you're developing your libido you're developing all this certain emotions you know adulthood purity 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 yo i can't even say the word but yeah you're developing all that and it's it gets a little bit crazy because all those hormones and emotions all come at once and you clearly don't understand it so yeah this adult took advantage of this girl and it's also with the friends like the friend didn't really release the whole entire messages only she released it when they supposedly felt bad about it like what kind of friends are that you forgot to show this evidence when they first found her like what type of friends are this and i'm sorry i'm criticizing the friends mostly because one one of the friends saw the the pills being put in the drink two your friend is crying in pain asking for help and it was a voice note it was not no text message it was a fucking voice note and she's asking you for help And you're just like, calm down. We could get through this. Instead of you calling the ambulance, calling to take her to the hospital, and saving her life. Like I said, there's a lot of more things coming to this case. I just wanted to wear awareness to these type of cases because we've seen a lot of these cases all over the world. And some of them are pushed under the rug. And like I said on my last episode, nothing gets done unless the victim dies. Why do we as a society, humanity that we supposedly supposed to be, we have to wait for a victim to die to actually do something about the situation? Why? And I don't want to hear because there's a lot of, you know, sexual assaults. Oh, she wore this. Why is she wearing that? First of all, what does clothing have to do with it? Clothing does not have to do with nothing. If that was the case, then why men have shirtless? Because of the double standards, right? So... We need to be better and, so, like I said, the last case, support these victims. Let's not have one more death because we didn't help this victim out. It takes a toll on kids who go through it. It takes a toll on also adults. It traumatizes them. It just, we just need to help them out. And it's really sad that the 16-year-old had to go through this at a very young age she had a whole life to herself but just because of this situation she is gone so i'm gonna keep updating on this case um i know it's a little bit of a shorter case just because it's a fresh one right now and it's still going there's a lot that will be coming in in the couple of days i'll probably do a part two of any new information about this so yeah we'll check you guys out in the next case
So yeah, guys, like I said, I will catch you in the next case. It would be a crazy one because I think a lot of people know about this case. So be ready for the next case next Friday, every day at a well every Friday at eleven p.m. And you can go to the description and find every link. I'm going to start posting the links to the websites, the links to the articles, so you guys can look into it deeply. But yeah, I catch you guys next Friday at 11 p.m. Deuces!